from Gemini Cancer to your September Astrodice reading. Hope you friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, guys, let's see what's going on with you. And for those of you who are new, this is where I take astrology with tarot and make a small horoscope for the month. Hope you guys are doing great. Hope August treated you well. Okay, let's see what's going on. Best message. Right off the rip, we got the third house with some Aries energy. Ooh, talking about that Mercury. And since we're still in Mercury retrograde, well, let's see what kind of communication is coming in for you guys. We definitely have how you think, write, talk, travel, and communicate. Okay. And I'm doing it over here with some Aries energy, which is a little impulsive at times. So let's see the energy around you is dynamic, spontaneous, crusading. Okay. And of course, impulsive action is likely to occur. And going straight into the third house. So this is where you're going to learn something. So you are your potential to learn something in your local neighborhood. So it could be within your local community, your local neighborhood, it could be your neighbors. It could be that they're putting up a new store down the street and, you know, however it is. Um, or you're just learning something. Something is coming to light. Something that is important, right? So what is it that's so important? So. I'm going to use these cards here, these portal cards for the beginning of the month, middle of the month, and the end of the month. Please, Spirit, tell us why it is so important. Why is this third house so important this month? Because of something that has to do with your soul family. Whoa. <clears throat> Star gathering. Stars are aligned. Remembering home. Soul family. So it just feels like, okay, they're right here in your, your neighborhood, right within your own community. It could even be with your community online, right? Whatever you consider it to be your community. Um, but yeah, they're saying this, this is uh, where you're meeting someone from your soul tribe. Temple of Truth, Throat Chakra, authenticity and self-expression. So just be your authentic self. This is where you're going to really feel like you want to communicate. Throat Chakra is all about that communication. And the way you're communicating um, is actually pretty spontaneous with this Aries coming through. So it's saying not only are you using your own self-expression, but boy, you're very spontaneous in doing so. Um, and if it's not you, you might feel that it's them. Maybe you're dealing with a fire sign, um, right? <clears throat> And you're saying, wow, you know, they're really impulsive. It could be an Aries um, or it's just yourself. Okay, so coming out into the third house is cellular gateway activation. There is some kind of manifestation going on over here, infinite potential. You guys could have been manifesting a soulmate to come in at one time and boy, here they come. Or they could have been manifesting you and here you just kind of walk right into the bookstore down the road. Um, you know what I mean? And boy, there they are or find them online, um, however it is. <clears throat> but definitely you're going to learn that you have more in common with this person than you ever realized. Um, there's something about this person that's drawing you nearer to them, and right? And it's saying this is because they're a part of your soul tribe. Yes, having the Ace of Cups over here. So there definitely is some kind of compassion and some kind of um, urge to want to get towards this person, and you're probably feeling like, why is this happening? And it could, it definitely could feel impulsive, right? And you can even feel like they're impulsively coming closer to you and you both are um, feeling this energetic pull, right? And it does feel like you both are just wanting to open up, wanting to speak, wanting to show who, you know, this is who I am, right? And they're like, and this is who I am. And it just feels, yes, it feels like this is a complete completion. And you guys are making each other feel whole. There's a wholesome feeling to this situation. Well, that's because you feel like you're at home. This person makes you feel comfortable. You're making them feel comfortable. Okay. If you are traveling, you could literally be making, you know, um, maybe they're on vacation, right? And they're traveling and you run into them because Mercury is also about travel. This card's also about travel. 
So maybe they're from out of town, you're from out of town, you guys just run into each other um, on vacation or something. Uh, manifesting vortex. Okay, so yeah, feeling like you're going to need a little relaxation. There is this energetic pull that's going on over here. It could be dealing with a Libra or a, a Capricorn. But there is definitely this energetic pull that is making you feel like you need to go recuperate. Like I'm, it's my energy is draining. Um, but it's kind of crazy because even though you feel drained and you feel like yeah, I need to go relax, uh, you also feel very relaxed around this person. But because of that pull, guys, that's where, you know, and look at how much energy you're putting out also, right? So you might just be like, Ooh, you know what? That was, that was fun. I need to go relax now, right? <clears throat> Draining my energy, but not like a, not like a vampire, right? Not the vampire type of energy drain. This is like, it's exuberant. It's exciting, right? Okay. That's very beautiful. So you're going to learn that, that this person is quite unique and quite a lot like yourself. And they're quite entertaining and quite fun and loving. And they may even have you thinking, hmm, and that could be another thing too, you're contemplating, hmm, this this new person I ran into is pretty interesting, right? I would like to see them again. Um, yes, feeding and activation in the mid-month, coming together, harmony in the heavens and resolution. So there is definitely this coming together. It's like that feeling of, I, you know, I would like to spend more time with this person. This person is a lot like me, and they do bring in a lot of harmony. They do give me a lot of peace, uh, right? Even though I kind of have this energetic pull, um, right? But otherwise, from that, there is a lot of... Um, Comfort, right? That feeling of being at home, that comfort feeling. Um, this right here is angelic frequency. Angels are here. You are safe. And this is, is a potent connection for sure. It's a definitely a potent connection. It's very high energy. That's why I said you probably need to relax. <clears throat> kind of like two little kids getting together and like running around after you give them you know, you give them ice cream or something, they're like, Ugh. you know what I mean? <laughs> and that's how you're feeling without the ice cream, without the sugar, right? It's like the sugar rush without the sugar. Um, star being healing codes, important information. There's that important information, right? And you're recharging once again. So it doesn't just feel like you have to recharge in the beginning of the month. You're going to feel like you need to recharge until your energy is 100% gets used to this this soulmate this twin flame uh whoever this really you know deep soulmate connection is until you get used to them you're gonna have to keep feeling like i need to recharge 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 but i think the problem is too especially if it's a twin flame um it's gonna be hard to recharge because even in your dreams you guys are connecting even with a super deep soulmate connection say you guys have lived together you know many, many times in many other lives, it's almost like we're sharing, you know, it's almost kind of like a twin flame connection because of the souls know each other so, so long and they know, you know, um, that it's going to be a little hard to keep meeting them in the fifth dimension. You know, it's like they're draining you still from the fifth dimension. Come on, let's go. You know, the two souls are, you know, just having a good old time and you're like, leave me alone. I'm trying to rest. Um, <laughs> um so Okay, let's see what's going on over here. So yeah, it's gonna get it's gonna take a little bit of time, but you definitely have some important information that is coming in when it comes to this situation. Um, when you are coming together, so let's we're gonna clarify on that. Let's see the coming together first. So yeah, two souls combining as one. So I'm saying even if you're not twin souls that are you know completely one soul separated it still feels like you know this is deep enough to where we know each other and boy we feel almost as one <sighs> inspiration the urge to create oh there is a very sexual high um energy also going on over here when we have the ace of wands so not only are you feeling it from one side but you also have this sexual urge and this sexual desire um that's why it has the urge to create, right? So there's so much different kinds of de desires going around. 
And that's another reason too, guys, the sexual energy, right? So you don't only just have the one energy, but you have all these little energies. Um, so the coming together is that urge to want to create. It's the sexual energy. Just gotta, you know, I'm going to throw it to you guys. We're adults. I'm going to tell you right now, that's what it is. You know, deny it. You don't, you know, you can deny it. You don't have to deny it. You, you know, it, it is what it is. You're both feeling it. And that's what the coming together is. Yep. So the angels are here. You have this potent connection. Now we see why it's so potent. Because now this, this sexual urge is coming in. Up. Um, yeah, wanting to invest a lot of time within this situation, putting, you know, putting a lot of hard work into this, but a, a lot of the hard work is just really the time, right? Wanting to make more time, wanting to make the effort. You can start to see a long-term view, um, whether it's you or them. Saying, you know what, this could, this could work. You know, I, I actually could see this actually lasting. You know what I'm saying? So you're you're going to try to plant as many seeds as possible over here. With the seven of coins over here. Uh, with the information, important information. What if I find the important information, please? What is this important information? Now, this is really the third house, and this is, you know, this is important, and it's in the third house, and this is the third house, so here we come. We learned this is my soulmate. Now, I have more important information to give you at the mid-month, so spit it out. When you go into hermit mode, you'll be in the all-knowing. Hold on, guys. Actually, I'm looking at it wrong. It needs to go this way. Good job. Now, it, it's as you are recharging, this is important information and recharging. And it's saying when you're in hermit mode over here, you are. You're definitely feeling this. Um, it's like you're soul searching. You're seeking the truth of the situation. It's like you're getting this kind of download of information from your higher self. Your intuition is really on top of this. It's like you're trusting within your situation. And the more it's like I, I'm in alone time and I'm recharging and I'm and I'm really seeing the truth and I'm really trusting this. This is something that you really do trust that you could really build on. You're really seeing this as this could really work. really feeling like there's something more here. I think that, you know, this is, a, this is something that can be, you know, we can actually build a foundation off of this. There's something here that you just trust this person. Like I said, it could be a Capricorn. It could be a Capricorn, a Libra, Virgo. Pisces, Cancer, I have the Cancer and the Cancer, or another fire sign, like I said before, an Aries, Sagittarius. Um, in the end of the month over here, you do have the karmic release and the radical transformation with the Chamber of the Violet Flame. I think you're realizing that there's something here. Um, when it comes to the karmic release, that there's something going on when it comes to like the north node, the south node, you know what I'm saying? Of kind of like, the, especially the north node, because it's almost like I can journey to find what it is that I'm truly looking for. But I'm also thinking maybe the south node, because the south node also talks about something that happened in a past life where we can reclaim that. We can, you know what I'm saying? We can revisit this. We can redo this. And having a soulmate this, this um, close to you, and I know this is this is so close. I I know for a fact you've you've lived you know a few good lives together in the past um, for it to be this close. 
Um, like I said, whether it's twin flame or just that. Um, and it's going to release a lot of karmic between the two of you. And I think that, I really feel that this is, it's like with the North Node, it's like this is where my goals, my purpose of my goal was going. But then with the South Node coming in, it's going to, re with them coming in, that's going to also release any karmics that we had together in the past life so that we can just be where we need to be and really learn from each other and really build what we need. Letting it just all burn away. Doing what we were supposed to do at one time in the last life or that we were together. Let's put it that way. It doesn't have to be that you guys were in the last life together. It could be whatever life you were in together. You could live five lives and they could have been in, you know, the third life, right? And you had two more before that. You see what I'm saying? It doesn't have to be the last life. It's whenever they come back around. Um, I am presence and it is your presence. You understand that you are in the presence at this moment, understanding that this is the presence and see, this is, this is very interesting because it's almost like you, you have this kind of, yeah, this kind of like you have the inner power, the inner will to understand. But if you're doing some kind of karmic release from a past life, you understand that we're now in this presence. This is the presence now, right? At this present moment, Right, we're, it's almost like we're going to get it right this time. <laughs> we're going to get it right this time. We may have not have got it right last time. See, yeah, because see, now there's good dharma. As you're releasing the karmic, you're bringing in dharma instead of karmic, right? So you're releasing the karmic for the dharma. So tr trusting in this process. So you're, you're like releasing everything that you had had once before and you're bringing in this divineness, this new passion, this new light body. It's a light body activation. And it's like you have some kind of thing, like you understand this somehow. Somebody understands this. I don't know who you, you must be psychic. Okay, or you have high, high intuition to know this. And there could be more than just one of you. Many of you who watch this are very, very intuitive and very psychic. Um, that's why you're here, right? Some of you. Um, not everybody. But there's something, no matter what it is, your intuition is spot on because you are trusting in the process that there's something bigger. And that's, see, that's what you're seeing over here with the hermit. You're realizing with the hermit, see, and the high priestess, see, your, your intuition's spot on, guys. You're realizing something is bigger than life over here. There is something, and you're learning important information. You could be having downloads while you're sleeping, in your dreams, seeing them in your dreams, building something, you know, but you know that there's something to build on here. This is not just some fly-by-night, you know, some fly-by-night person. Even if they don't last your whole life, right, your soul contracts don't have to last your whole life, but it would mean that we did something important, right? We're together for a reason. Yeah. This is very interesting, and you're learning this. You're learning that this is the new beginning of something very pleasurable, something that good for me, something that I can learn from. It's making me very spontaneous. You know what else it is, guys? It's very healing. For some of you, there is a healing process here. If you've been in really, really bad relationships, it's almost like this person's come back for a reason because you need to be reconnected with yourself. Having the understanding of what love is, what this is, what that is, right? But there's something very, I'm telling you, for some of you, there's something very healing here. I see it with the Ace of Cups and the Peace over here that somebody just really needs peace of mind. The Hermit, that could be very healing. And I think, I, I really do feel this. Really healing of the mind, body, and the soul over here. And you're going to take this on with blind faith and you have the Ten of Cups. Because this is something divine that you really need. It's going to really fulfill your life. For some of you, it's your dream come true. Most of you, it's your dream come true. Um... <clears throat> Because this is the total love and support that you need, but there is something about an unconditional love over here that is mostly needed for, you know, for a lot of you. Feeling like, you know what, I don't have to. Why? Because I can be my authentic self. I don't have to try to impress you. I don't have to try to, you know, 
You know what I mean? Like, I don't have to do anything, right? And they don't really need to impress you either in a lot of ways. Do you see what I'm saying? I mean, as long as they're clean and they're bathed, you know what I mean? You want something, right? Um, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about maybe, you, you know, you feel like you have to wear makeup all the time, ladies, right, to impress someone, right? Because, sorry, men, that's just the way some, you know, some guys are. Like, where's your makeup? Well, how come you don't look this way? And you're like, you know, I'm not feeling it that today. And they're like, mm, you know. And so it kind of makes you feel like, mm, maybe I should wear makeup. You know what I mean? This person doesn't care about that, guys. They're just going to look at you and they're going to be like, well, don't you just look beautiful today. Just happy as ever. Just glowing, glowing. And you're like, well, I don't even have makeup on. And they're like, so? You see what I'm saying? He could come and not even brush his hair as long as he's clean, right? <laughs> as long as he's clean. And maybe he's not even clean. Maybe he gets off being a mechanic at work and he's still a little bit of a grease monkey. And he's like, oh my gosh, you know, I am so sorry. I, you know, still greasy from work. And you're just like, you're fine. I love you just the way you are. Do you see the unconditional love that I'm trying to tell you, though? Right? When I was saying clean, I meant like didn't bathe for a month or something, you know? Ugh. That's not. But look, maybe he came back from the gym. He's a little sweaty. He's like, whoa, I don't know if I want you touching me. I'm a little sweaty. And you're just like, I don't really care. You see what I'm saying? There's a, this love that it doesn't really matter as long as we're not like over the top, like I said, you know. <clears throat> Where it's just like them being themselves. They're living life the way that's normal. And a lot of people are not like that. A lot of people have a hard time doing that. You get so used to every day having to dress up, do this, do that, try to impress this, that, that, and the other. Even men have this problems with women, right? And this, you don't have that, guys. You just get to express yourself the way you want to be expressed at the given moment in time, not feeling like, you know, I have to um, always be in wardrobe or something, you know, look like I'm wearing, walking the red carpet or something. Um, and yeah, you're with your solar plexus chakra, it's like, you know, you just have these intentions and you're just going to keep man manifesting as you keep going over here. Um, it does feel like there is a little bit of impatience over here in the end of how you feel things are going with them. It does feel like there's a Towards the end of the month, it feels like there's something going on where there's a little less interaction um, between you and this person. So there is something kind of unpredictable that is kind of going on within the situation. It kind of feels like the person has a little bit of unfocus going on. Why are they all of a sudden unfocused? They give you everything in the world and then what? Oh, they're busy at work something is burdening your person over here and they're kind of going through a personal transformation. Something from their past is coming up that's keeping them focused. It's some cold, bittery, bitchy person. <laughs> Sorry, that's what it is. I, I don't lie. <laughs> that's what it is. So they have somebody around them that is distracting them. It could be, an, it could be their ex-wife, their ex-husband. Um, it could be a person at work because I do see a work card over here, right? With the Eight of Pentacles. And it just feels like they're having a really rough time all of a sudden towards the end of the month. And you're going to learn this, though, because you're going to learn that they kind of take a little bit of a backseat um, in the relationship. I don't see them really gone. I just see them exactly that having to kind of pull away a little bit because of extra responsibilities and dealing with something. Yeah, they're trying to make an ending for a new beginning. And they're definitely going through some kind of transformation. They're definitely dealing with somebody and something is going on. They're trying to find a little more self-discipline within their situations, but it's making them feel a little stuck. Um... I don't know why they're stuck. Yeah, it's, it, for some of you, it's a divorce. The 
this person that you met could have already been going through a divorce or was having some kind of issue after a divorce. It could be actually something also that has to do with ch uh, child support, things like that, or something at the workplace. I'm seeing a lot of home, though, because I see a lot of four, of a four of wands, things like this. And it's causing them a lot of inner feelings, a lot of disappointment. It feels like they want to... It feels like they want to walk away from this situation. Not you, my friends. This situation that's burdening them. But it just feels like they're kind of taking a little bit of time out over here. Could be dealing with a Pisces and a Cancer, and they're taking it very emotional. They're, they're really feeling like they're kind of struggling towards the end over here. They had higher expectations of this situation to be over with, um, to be done, to um, not only, are, you know, it's kind of like they're taking the backseat to your guys' relationship, but they were hoping that that thing would not just take the backseat in their life. It would actually just fall out of the car. You know what I'm saying? Like it was just going to, you know, open the door, kick it out. And for some reason it's not. It's like stuck to the bumper. And it's just, you know, it just keeps driving down the street and it's trying to crawl up over the, you know, roof into the trunk, you know, and it's just kind of like, it's just, you know what I'm saying? It's like, um, right when he thought this, this shit was over with, it just kind of come right back at him or her. It could be because of this Mercury retrograded, it's all this shit's coming back. And, you know, it could even be them. I, they would just want to cause a conflict. You know, it's funny because, guys, don't worry. It doesn't look like they want to get back with this person. It has nothing to do with that. Absolutely not. Um, it has something to do with um, just overburdening them with, like I said, child support or money or it could be, like I said, at work. Just complaining. I don't see them trying to come back, though, for the majority of you. I don't see any of that. No, because even the two of... See, the two of... This connection for them is... This soul contract's over. So I don't really see it. I see broken communication where they're trying their hardest to keep away from this person. Or this person could be a Gemini... A Cancer or a Sagittarius, their their ex <clears throat> or whoever is causing the problems for them, but that's the only reason it seems like they're kind of uh, in and out with you. I don't see them really gone. I just see them kind of in and out. Like I said, you're kind of in the back seat. Um, guys, don't feel like the elephant in the room because you know this this really is something that's kind of weighing on them. This is kind of like their own baggage that they're trying to get rid of and you know it's kind of crazy because it feels like it was gone for a while like they had taken care of it but i don't know this person i don't know it just could be mercury retrograde altogether it might just be it might after mercury retrograde she or he might just disappear the situation whoever this is that's trying to cause this tower moment and that it is, it's a, they're trying to cause the terror. Do you see that? They are trying to do it. It's a personal transformation. It's them wanting them to suffer, wanting them to cause, they want to cause the disaster. They want to cause a conflict. The universe didn't do it. They're doing it. Here, let me just throw a bombshell on you, right? Listen here, right? And it's just like, yeah, see, because they just want to cause conflict with others. They want to cause conflict. Maybe they still own a house together. Maybe they just got divorced. You guys will figure it out when that time comes. It might not even be that. It might just be an ex-girlfriend. Who knows? It looks more like divorce, though. Hmm. However, but that's what you're going to learn. Okay, because that's all in the learning area. You're going to learn that this is your soulmate. <laughs> right? You're going to learn that, wow, right? I think this is the person for me. And then you're going to learn, wow, this person over here is really driving my new person insane. Plain and simple, that's exactly what it is. And then you're going to feel like, wow, where'd you go? Don't get heartache, though. They didn't really leave. They're not ignoring you on purpose. And no, there is no three of cups. No, there is no, they're cheating on you. I don't see any of that. Now, if you guys find that 
out, then that is not on my cards. Then that is more of a personal type of situation. Okay, because I do not see that at all. If anything, I'm, I see them getting ready to say, will you get the hell out of here? See, because what they're waiting for is for them to get the hell out of here. I'm waiting for you to take your cup, leave. You left some shit at my house, then take your shit and get out. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm sorry that you left your heels here or that you left your ties here. Okay, can you come back and get them, okay? And go away. Because that's really what they're doing, guys. I'm sorry. That's exactly what it is. I know it sounds, you know, the way, but I just, I read. I'm just a reader, okay? And that's what it looks like. They just want it over and done with. Okay. Until next time, my friends. Peace and love. Bye-bye.